Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks and here we are in the press room at Mobile World Congress. It's the end of day one, we've had a really busy day zero and today's been alright, totally manageable. My favorite event of the day, so I'm going to take you through all the good ones. The best one had to be the ASUS PadPhone Infinity launch and the phone pad launch. I'm going to cut to some footage now because you have to see Johnny in action. Superstar, the Pet Infinity. Um, it's a 5-inch display with a full HD resolution, so that means uh, 1920 by 1080p, which um, is a pixel density of 441 ppi, as far as I know. What I really love about this device is it comes with a nice brushed aluminum body. And look at this, it's like super thin. This is only like 8.9 millimeters, 141 grams. I am at the Asus press conference in Barcelona right now and they just introduced the new Asus phone pad. We've already seen a couple of leaks of this tablet and it's yeah, pretty interesting what's just introduced, introduced. It looks like the Google Nexus 7 and yeah, but it's not, it's the Asus phone pad and actually the build quality is a little bit better. We have aluminium here on the back, not just plastic. You have to admit, the price on the phone pad is unbelievable. $249, it's going to be going global. It's like a souped up Nexus 7, but it's got 3G. Can't really complain. The other one that, I, that everyone should take note of was Nokia this morning. They had their mid-range Lumia releases. So there was the 520 and the 720. Why don't we cut to a little bit of that? Taking a look at the brand new Nokia Lumia 720. I think it's more like a middle class a smartphone running Windows Phone 8. Um, the device itself is just very light. It comes in this uh, nice Lumia uh, design uh, that we already know from the 820 or from the 920. Uh, it comes with a uh, 4.3 inch display. That's the Nokia Lumia 520. It comes with a 4 inch display. I would guess 800 by 480. Of course, it runs Windows Phone 8. Um, there is no front facing camera. Now, of course, Mobile World Congress is just full of smartphones. ZTE also had their Rand Mimo launch. Now, the reason why I gotta look at my phone is because it kind of looks like a lot of other phones. Why don't you guys take a look at the footage and tell me which phone you think it looks like? And let's quickly take a look at the device. Again, as I said, 5.7 inch, so it's quite big. The resolution is 1280 by um, 720. We have a Qualcomm dual core processor inside. We don't know which one exactly, but there's also one gigabyte of memory and uh, I think 32 gigabyte of flash storage. What do you think? Are you excited about that phone? I'm more excited about the pad phone. I don't know why. I know it's too expensive, but I still kind of would prefer that kind of idea. I'm not sure why. But the last one I'm going to bring up, and everyone's probably already seen it, but we've uh, had the launch of the Galaxy Note 8.0. We have a really good video comparing it to the iPad mini and the Nexus 7, so why don't you check that out? This is the new tablet from Samsung. It looks gorgeous, kind of like a big note, hence the name. So to give you a quick rundown on the specs on this one, we have a 1.6 gigahertz A9 quad-core processor. And over here we would have a Tiger 3 processor on the Nexus 7 from Google. And then over here we have the iPad mini, which is on a dual-core processor, and Apple won't tell us anything else about it. So if we kind of take a look at the screen resolution on all of these tablets, we have a 1024 by 768 on the iPad mini. Over here we have 1280 by 800 and 1280 by 800. The big difference for this tablet from Google, the Nexus 7, is that it is 7 inches. The Note 8.0, obviously 8, and the iPad mini, also 8 inches. Thanks so much for joining me. This has been the end of day one of Mobile World Congress 2013. I'm Nicole Scott.